welcome back once again in this part we will check validation for our all these input fields so for doing this first we need to create few string variable inside our button job post so a string title is equal to job title dot get text dot to string dot dream get text dot to string dot dream a string description is equal to job description dot get text dot to string dot trim string skills is equal to job skills dot get text dot to string dot trim and string salary job salary dot get text dot to string dot trim So twisting dot trim So if text details dot is empty title So drop job title dot set error And we can call it required field. Required field and return. Now if text util dot is empty description and this description is going to be job description dot we can call it set error. And we can call it required field. and record field and return and we need another if condition so if text utils dot is empty skills so job skills dot set error and we can call required field and return and if text utils dot is empty salary And this one is going to be job is job salary dot set error. So job salary dot set error, and we can call it required field. So required field. So I think and we need to return it so that's it for this part 